Yeah, Romney, you're starting us off with the story. We were talking about this earlier today in the newsroom about teens partying in Summit County and now a school is getting directly involved. What's going on? Yeah, so we all like to celebrate a birthday, right? That's normal, but it's got to be different during the pandemic. And take a listen to the warning that a school system sent out before the party happened. Rumors are abounding of large gatherings and parties uh, this weekend. Well, that robocall was sent out because so many kids were talking about one particular large birthday party. Keep in mind, we're just two weeks into the school year, but Walsh Jesuit had to send out a warning to students about a Sweet 16 party. Well, that party happened in Summit County over the weekend, and now school leaders and health officials are trying to identify every single student in case of a COVID outbreak. In this email, Walsh Jesuit High School asks students who attended a large Sweet 16 party to learn at home for two weeks. Students were on deadline to self-identify to the school and warned of consequences if they didn't. We gave them from last night just after dinner until 10 a.m. this morning. Uh, then they will be dismissed from the school. Uh, it's that serious and we felt that we really needed to make a statement for all of our families and support the health of all. After seeing pictures confirming a large party, school administrators reached out to the Summit County Health Department for advice. Because of a possible COVID-19 exposure, health experts suggested tracking down all students at the party now in case contact tracing is necessary in the future. We sort of hold our breath for two weeks because it's a whole lot easier now to do it and remember who's been there than it is to try to do it two weeks or a week from now. Students in attendance at the party are from Walsh Jesuit and other local schools, which is why school leaders are now working with other local superintendents. Several reached out over the weekend as, as word got out of this um, and they've been most supportive. Uh, some of the schools uh, wanted to receive images. Some are just investigating and doing this as a teaching moment within their own communities. It's too soon to know if anyone was exposed to COVID-19 at the party. However, health leaders want everyone to be aware of the potential risk. Um, but we, for the next two weeks, we would want to watch everyone who was there should really watch the symptoms. Stay away from folks, wear a mask, practice social distancing as much as you can. Now, Jay, I searched Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for images, but was told they were all deleted on purpose. Right now, it's just a case where everyone's kind of in wait and see mode because it could be nothing or it could wind up being a very serious outbreak. I'm told more than 100 students have been identified so far. Yeah, that's going to be very difficult, um, particularly if everyone doesn't come forward. Later on, right. we're going to go through the day's coronavirus numbers. Yeah. And the one that jumped out to me today was hospitalizations. Romney, this is a number we've seen steadily fall over the last six to eight weeks. Right. It was over a thousand statewide. We're now in the 600s, but we had a jump of 35. And my fear is that this could be already the first wave of what could be more cases potentially because of the Labor Day uh, partying situation that and you know everybody's of Labor out. Labor Day and now this party because it's always a two week delay. We got to really watch Summit County to see if this Absolutely. party has any potential impact on those numbers. Yeah.